Do I look like I've come in here thinking, you know what, my facility ain't, ain't good? <laughs> Do I? Look how much paper they gave me. <laughs> so are you going to blame it on the facilities? No, no. There's a phrase that I talk about. See, look. The, the, and it's this. And we didn't do the exercise, but <coughs> what does that say? Deal with it. I'm going to send you some stuff, okay? You've got to deal with what the game throws at you. You've got to deal with what college throws at you. You've got to deal with what the opposition throws at you. And that's why that's there. Positive thinking is a lie. Because you're telling yourself, be positive, be positive. It's going in, it's going in. Boom. Does it definitely go in? Yes or no? No. no. So where do you go next? It's relevant to you guys. It's where do you go next? You go to negative thinking. Yes or no? Yeah. Which is also a lie. Because you're telling yourself, we're going to lose. We're going to miss. I'm going to miss. Boom. Do you definitely miss? No. no. So the positive's a lie, the negative's a lie, but right in the middle is something called neutral thinking. What's it called? Neutral. neutral. And neutral thinking starts with this word here. Possible. Possible. Is it possible I could score, yes or no? Yeah. Do I definitely score? No. Do I definitely miss? No. But it's possible. Do we definitely win? No. Do we definitely lose? Is it possible... We could get a result. Yeah. That's the truth. So possible keeps you calm. You don't get anxious with possible. Do you understand me? When you've got possible, the next word is clarity. Clarity is what do we want? What do we want? How are we going to play? That makes sense? When you've got clarity, you take action. When you take action, you're going to get what? You're going to get a result. Now, here's the deal. I've got the word result underneath here. Now, this is what's been happening to you recently. When the result doesn't go your way, you blame the action. You blame, what am I doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? Yes or no? Yeah. And then you get stuck in the loop of insanity. The missing piece when you're at your best. You go down a level and you deal with the result. Does that make sense? Yeah. You deal with the result when you're at your best. I said to you, what are you like when you make a mistake, when you're in that state of mind? What do you do? You push on, you forget it. Keeper, you drop the ball, you deal with it. You lose the ball. When you're at your best, you deal with it. When you're not at your best, you start going... Oh my God, don't give it me back. Yes or no? Yeah. So look, commit from today onwards. You're going to go, you're going to loop back to, is it possible the next one could be a good one? Yes. Clarity. Take action. Get a result. What are you going to do with the result? Say it. You're going to deal with it. You lose. If you lose on Saturday, what are you going to do? Is it possible you could get back in and do some good work? Yeah. Is it possible you could win the next one? Yeah. Clarity. What do we need to do? What do I need to do? Take action. Get a result. What are you going to do with the result? Yeah. And if you stay in this loop, guys, you'll find out how good you can be. You won't be going, you won't be looping back to last week and going, we played shit last week. You won't be going, we've got, we've got the league leaders in a week's time. <coughs> You'll be like this, staying in the present. Useful? Yes. yes. Get me on Twitter. At Jamie Edwards, that's it, at Jamie Edwards. I'll yes. send you, I'll send you a download. I want, I, want you to, I want you to download it, and believe me, when I make a suggestion, that means 
that you do it. You guys need to, every one of you, download an audio that I'm going to give you, okay? And then listen to it every day. It's a six days. And download it and listen to it every day for six days. And it, it's like having me on your shoulder, okay? It's something that you guys need right now because it's going to help you get into the right frame of mind as a group and as an individual. It's called Get Ready to Play. And it'll help you because of the position that you're in in the league right now. We got that? Okay. At Jamie Edwards. You have an email. I do have an email. <coughs> J Edwards. Just think of those two doubling guys. J Edwards at train-brain.com. You get my you, the website's on Twitter. Just have, have a look there. Yeah. Follow back. I'll follow back. Okay. Final point, okay? This is what I want you guys to do. I want you to hook up with somebody in the team who you wouldn't normally hook up with, and you're going to start having, you're going to start having, um, you're going to start having breakfast together, lunch together, okay? And eat every couple of days. You're going to you're going to make sure that you're rotating. So you, you guys are getting to know each other. You got that? Yeah? Captain, who's captain? Okay, captain, make sure. Captain, body language. Stay there, right? Stay right there. Look at him. Okay? Body language. Curtis. Leadership. Okay? Is a standard. You slouch like that, they slouch like that. Yep? Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't have talk, said that you were the captain. <laughs> Body language. Take charge of how you are sitting, how you standing. You gotta look like. Everybody sit up right now. Sit up. Sit up. So imagine if I'd walked in this, this, this afternoon and seen this. What does this tell me? Ready to learn. Ready. Ready. Want to learn. Ready. Now go back to how you were. What does this tell me? Now, what's really interesting, guys, what's interesting is, okay, I walk in and I see this. Yeah? I see this. Yeah? You know what this tells me? I know you're saying it's not interested, tired, whatever. Yeah, that's true. But what it really tells me is that, Jamie, you could get away with murder. I could get away with murder with this. Sit back up. Show me how, how you were before. Okay. Right. <coughs> now, you say this is ready to learn, ready. You know what this tells me? This tells me, Jamie, you better bring your best stuff. These guys demand from you your best stuff. See, the way you sit and the way you go into training, you're not demanding from your coaches. You're not demanding the best from them. Imagine being like this in team meetings. Imagine being like this at half time. Imagine being like this at breakfast. Is it tough? Yes, it is tough. Imagine being like this in your sessions. Coach will be like, geez, I better bring some, I better bring my A game every day. You're not demanding the best from people the way you're being. Which brings me to the word competition. Competition isn't you going against me or you going against the guy who's from West Ham. That's not competition. Competition in its Latin form means you're bringing the best out of me. 
So stop thinking of it as you're going up against him or you're, the first years are against the second years. Start thinking of it as you're bringing out the best in me. Because if it's me against you, you start getting anxious when you're not performing. Yes or no? Yeah. But if it's you're bringing the best out of me, then you're helping me go to another level. Because I've got to do something now to raise my game if you're bringing out the best in me. So start thinking of it as the first years are bringing out the best in the second years. The second years are bringing the best out of the first years. The best player in the team is bringing the best out of everybody else. The coach is bringing out the best in you. The team you're going to play against on Saturday, they're going to bring out the best in you. Not me against you. You want to play, don't you, Curtis? Yeah. yeah. I can tell. That's a good thing. So it's you bringing out the best in me, not I'm going up against you. Got that? Yeah. I love this stuff. It's good shit. It's good shit. <laughs> Listen, um, you need to go, I need to go. Um, I think the LFE, first of all, it's thanking the LFE for putting this kind of thing on. I know you have other very good enrichment programs. Um, make the most of them whilst you're here. Yeah? Don't wait till you're somewhere else before you start thinking, oh, God, yeah, I had this thing when I was at Dagenham and I didn't really focus. Make the most of it. Yeah? How, how, how does that apply to me? You ask that question. How do I take action? How do I use it? You go out of here and you go, right, what can I do immediately from a game, for college, for life, whatever it is? Yeah? Use it immediately. So I always want to thank the LFE for putting it on because, you know, you know they're, they're giving you guys the opportunity. They're putting me in front of you. Okay? And you think LFE, LFE. LFE are helping you go to a different level. Your education. Yep. Badger the first team. You know, the old timers, the guy who used to be a pro at West Ham and he lives wherever. Talk to him. Start talking to strangers. I've planted about a few million people around this area. Go and talk to people. Give them the best five minutes of you. The old lady behind the counter, talk to her. See, the problem is if you want to just talk to the model, the 10 out of 10, yeah? See, Jordan, that's Jordan, right? Yeah? You want to just talk to the model, but what happens is you get one shot at the model, don't you? And you walk up to it and you go... <laughs> the problem is you didn't talk to everybody. I talked to the small girl, the tall girl, the thin girl, the fat girl, the young girl, the old girl. I talked to all the girls. <laughs> So then when you get to when you get to when you get to the model it's not just that you're ready it's just it's just another day it's just another game it's just another opponent it's just another it's just another conversation are you with me yeah. 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 but if you're training if you're training as though you know it's the derby you should be training like it's the derby every day so you're ready. It's no different. Michael Jordan said his first game for the Chicago Bulls was in front of 6,000 people. His last game for the Chicago Bulls was in front of 24,000 people. He did not, he said, it, there was no difference. There was no difference. Apart from the number of people in the stadium. And that applies to whether it's your football or whether it applies to walking up to a girl or whether it applies to a job interview. You talk to everybody. You talk to the cab driver. You talk to the bus driver. You